Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Angie and in this video I'm going to show you how I gave some thrifted metal items a makeover. So let's get started. This here I've had for a few years. I put this uh, transfer on it um, a couple years ago but I've never really liked these little handles on it. So I'm going to cut those off to start with. After cutting off the handles, I gave it a quick sand. I got this at the thrift store. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to attach it to the bottom of that. Like that. To attach the stand, I used clear Gorilla Glue, let that dry, and then this project was done. I got this from the thrift store. I don't know what it is. Um, my thrift store likes to separate things. Like if this came with a glass piece or something, most of the time they do not tape them together so that you can buy them together. So I'm not quite sure what this was, but Going through my stash of wood browns, I found out that this one and this one fits perfectly. So I feel like I have to just glue it on, as simple as that. So I'm gonna get these um, stained. I'm gonna use this wax as my stain. I'm gonna stain them, let them dry, and then glue it on. Like I said, I used some antiquing wax to stain the wood and then let it dry. Once it was dry, I simply glued them on. This metal piece I got from Hobby Lobby's Spring Shop um, clearance aisle in 2021. So I'm gonna leave everything as is other than this front section. I'm gonna give it a coat of paint. I started by giving the front of this bucket 
or whatever this is, a light coat of paint and let that dry. Once the paint was dry, I sprayed a clear matte sealer over the paint and let that dry as well. When the sealer was dry, I used the top portion of an IOD transfer and applied that to the front. I then used some sandpaper and distressed the edges of the metal. Next, I used an IOD stamp and stamped some flowers on the sides and inside top of the bucket. To finish it, I sprayed the entire thing with a clear matte sealer to seal the transfer and the ink. For the next project, I started by painting this metal can. I wanted to stamp the front of this can, but since it has ridges on it, I stamped a piece of rice paper instead. Once I had all the images stamped, I tore the paper around the images and then decoupaged them on using DIY liquid patina. I started in the middle and just worked my way to the outside, making sure the paper was getting glued down into the ridges.
I could have just stamped the top image directly on the can, but decided to just decoupage that on as well. To finish it, I lightly distressed the can and sprayed a clear matte sealer over the images. For the next project, I'm using another metal bucket. I started by rolling out a thin piece of air dry clay and cutting it into a rectangle shape. I then glued that onto the front of the bucket to cover the original design. I then used some IOD molds and added a frame around the rectangle along with some leaves. Next, I gave it two coats of paint. After the paint was dry, my original idea was to stamp a design onto the clay. But when I was waiting on the paint to dry, I found this flower image in my craft stash and decided to decoupage that on instead. 
So I ripped the image down to size and then decoupaged that on. Once the image was dry, I used some ink and an IOD stamp to create a faux crackle over the image. When the ink was dry, I gave it a light coat of a clear spray sealer and then used a satin polycrylic over it again. I then lightly distressed the can and finished it with a coat of antiquing wax. For the last project, I'm using some random pieces of flatware to make some garden markers. I started by gluing on some pre-made resin pieces and then letting that dry. Next, I gave them all a coat of paint. After the paint was dry, I highlighted the design of the resin pieces with a contrasting paint color. To finish it, I wrote the name of the plant on it and then sprayed it with a clear sealer.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these projects and I'll see you in the next video.